Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, thanks for hopping on by. Um, make sure you subscribe, uh, like me on Twitter and Instagram at Philly Candleman, uh, so you get all the latest up to date news that I can have that I can share um, for you. Um, I like to just share. I have no paywall. I you know, I just share everything um, when I find out about just you know, uh, helping the helping the wax community in general. Um, it's a great time to be in the wax community. A lot of awesome, awesome people out there. So, um, all right, guys. So I have a haul for you. Uh, it's actually a pretty large haul uh, from this past weekend. It, it was uh, President's Day weekend, so there were a ton of sales. Um, everything here I got on sale, except for one item, um, but uh, it was cheap enough. So, all right, let's uh, let's get into it real quick. So I have. Um, from Bath and Body Works, I've been wanting to try uh, the new Three Wick um, low profile uh, candles there. So I picked this up in the Fresh Cut Lilacs. It's actually really nice. I've never had this scent from uh, Bath and Body Works before. If I have, I do have the Fresh Lilac from Kringle, um, and I've smelled the Yankee candle before. This smells really nice. Um, it was on sale for twelve ninety five, and then there was an extra twenty percent off, so it came to ten dollars and and change so um i will be reviewing this because i wanted to review um ha review how the uh, low profiles burn um i know there are some reviews out there i wanted to kind of yeah get, try it myself and and see what's what but uh one thing i've noticed when these first came out that the burn time uh is about 10 hours less it says 25 to 35 whereas the normal three wicks say i believe 25 to 45 so um again not um, not too bad, but, um, if they're eventually going to go to this in the future, which I'm thinking they probably will, um, less wax, more money, not good, not good. So that is Bath and Body Works. Um, oh yeah, here we go. So I have, um, went to, there's a Woodwick candle for you. It's, uh, from the Christmas line. It's a trilogy. It's oatmeal cookie, vanilla bean, and jolly gingerbread. I've only ever smelled the oatmeal cookie and vanilla bean. I really want to try the uh, Jolly Gingerbread, but I could not find it in there. I got this from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. It was on clearance for $5.69. Plus, they always have the 25 or the 20% off coupons. Um, I paid under $5 for this, and this is 9.7 ounces. The wood wick crackle as it burns. Oatmeal cookie smells great. Um, I will probably wait to burn this, but... Um, Jolly Gingerbread. I, I always love a good gingerbread scent. There weren't many this year. Um, the Gingerbread House from uh, Cole's Sonoma line um, was great. I didn't get to burn it, but um, uh, Sean over at Hearth and Soul uh, was one of his uh, uh, best fragrance nominees uh, for 2017. So uh, it performed well. So if it comes back this year, uh, make sure you pick one of those up. So what do we have over here? Oh, yep. My very first Henry Henry Bendel candle. It is um, in Spring Meadow. It was uh, originally twenty, originally thirty dollars, and it uh, was on sale for sixty percent off, plus an extra ten percent off of that. So uh, this came to nine dollars in some sense. So you can't go wrong with that. Got this actually from a Henry Bendel boutique store at the King of Prussia Mall in Pennsylvania. Um, they had a lot of other scents, so uh, I did smell this on Kohl's. So I am very interested uh, to try that out. Um, I will probably be reviewing that, I, even though I don't think it's coming back this year. That's why they were clearing it out. Uh, Black Current was clearanced. Um, a couple other tropical scents. So uh, if I get back there and they're on sale for $10 or less, I will probably pick one up. Um, yes. Okay, so here... Uh, this is something new I'm going to start doing. This is um, this is a candle from AC Moore. I know, don't laugh. But it is, it smells great. It smells like green grass. It is paraffin wax. Um, $3. Can't go wrong with that. It's uh, 18 ounces. I've never burned one of these before. I have no idea how it performs. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be starting something new on my channel. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but... It's basically going to be a $5 and under candle review series. Um, you know, mainstays will be in there. A um, couple of the 
uh, better homes and gardens uh, than the Kohl's candles. Obviously, the 719 Walnut Ave candles, which are banging. So uh, I'm going to start rolling it out shortly just because I know a, a lot of us can't afford to buy a, a Yankee candle even at $14 when you buy them half price. So there has to be some other viable options out there. And um, I am not above any $3 candle. If a $3 candle performs as well as the Yankee, I'm going to call it as I see it. If it performs like crap, I'm also going to call it as I see it. Um, but I love grass scents, and to me, like Emerald Isle, love it. But this smells straight up um, grass, like fresh cut lawn, um, riding mower from Yankee Candle. Um, that's what this smells like. And, you know, I had to find one with a good centered wick, obviously. You know, cheaper candles don't have the quality control that, uh, you know, Bath and Body Works has or Yankee quality control that they have not the best so all right um they've been slacking in recent years now we have the yankee what do we have here six candles six candles so these are from two from the outlet one from home goods and one and three from the yankee candle store or the retail store so let's hop in with the outlet candle first of one of the two picked up spirit of america i've been wanting to try this for years um I, I don't, for some reason, I never have seen it in the uh, regular Yankee Candle store. This is a 2017 burn. It is 2017 pour, rather. It is the UK. UK uh, on the bottom, you can see it has the E. I'm not sure if that's focusing or not, but 22 ounces. To me, this smells almost like a firework, uh, fire, fire candle, but I know there is some orange and some other citrus going on in there. I love the label on the UK. Um, the U.S. version is, uh, and it's weird because uh, it does say America's Best Love Candle on there, but it is a U.K. pour. Um, interesting. So I know this came out last year over there as like a U.S. exclusive that they broadcast on their Yankee retail site. So um, collector's edition. So I will be giving this a shot. It uh, has the U.K. stuff on the bottom there. I'll probably be reviewing this for 4th of July. Hopefully it comes back as a treasure. Um but this a uh, returning favorite. Sorry, that's what they call it now. This is uh, really nice. I've heard it doesn't throw a lot, so hopefully, hopefully I have better results from that. And the second one I got from the outlet, Beach Waves. This came out um, as like a limited edition in the UK last year. This is a very sea air, salty, fresh scent. Um, very nice. Smells great. Um, Love the label on it. Love, love the label. Also, like I said, 2017 pour. Uh, I don't have much information on this yet, but I will do my best to find out. But I'm, I'm enjoying it on cold there. I don't like the, uh, I like a fresh um, outdoor scent, oz ozone -y scent, which uh, will lead us into our next candle from Home Goods. Actually, TJ Maxx, sorry. They're, they're right next to each other uh, at my area. And this is uh, Wisteria. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, not sure if this is the same kind of Wisteria scent that Harry Slatkin has right now in the Wisteria vine. But this does have a lot of um, fresh lilacs in it, gardenia, a little bit of jasmine. Um, it's nice. Um, it's uh, 17, 2017 pour actually on this guy um america's best love candle and as with all large jars at tj maxx home goods and marshall's 12.99 can't go wrong with that less than half price of a full jar um and the wax looks good it's got that shimmer shimmer effect to it really digging that so let's put that over here next up is daffodil so this came back uh for semi-annual sale this year in certain stores, along with um, Wild Pansies, Fresh Comfort, Garden Hideaway, a couple other of those, um, uh, floral, carn, Pink Carnation, well, some of those other florally candles. And uh, I had already had a jar that I picked up a couple years ago, and I figured, well, it's not coming back anytime soon, probably, so I'm going to pick it up. So Yankee had a 3 for 42 deal going on uh, this weekend, so I took advantage of it, and uh, the store manager, it was actually a different store I went to. And uh, she gave me a free coupon uh, to personalize a candle for free 
um, to go along with uh, the 3 for 42, which I know sometimes they won't do that, but uh, she was more than willing to do that. I didn't even know her, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so I customized a candle over here um, for my son's birthday party, um, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, daffodil, love the scent. This is also a 17 pour, uh, so now I will start burning daffodil, um, even though I've already melted a couple of the, the tarts. So here is um, Emerald Isle. Always, it's a it's a classic every year. Uh, well, <laughs> for the first two years they've had it. Um, love it. This is the one I customized. Um, not going to show you the customization because it is you know my family. I, I want to respect their privacy. So uh, I hate putting myself on labels. That's why I don't do it. But uh, for this one I had to. It's you know my son's second birthday party. So why not? Gotta remember it somehow, right? So uh, Emerald Isle. Uh, you all saw my review, hopefully, on that. If not, I'll link below in the description. So, now this one is a 17 pour. I've noticed since I filmed that review, I've noticed two things there are 17 pours and there are 18 pours of Emerald Isle. What I've noticed with the 18 pour is that on cold, and this could change when it's burning, there's not much scent there, unfortunately. The, the coloration of the dye um, kind of fades out to the bottom. Whereas with the 17 pours, I've noticed it's pretty even all the way through. And it does have that glistening, marbling effect to it. Whereas the 18s, they look dry. That's what they look like. Um, that's, that's all I can say is that, that they look dry. So here is this candle. I know. Um, this is probably one of the most talked about candles um, that has been coming back for the... Um, returning favorites for the spring and that is campfire treat picked this up today i do have two jars uh from a couple years ago i picked up oh, i love this scent. so uh if you haven't followed on some of the facebook groups uh the people that have ordered uh campfire treats online a couple weeks ago when they were getting them in um they were smelling kind of like and i, I tease doug spooky villagers about this um his was um, marshmallow blanket because it uh, basically was kind of mixed in with soft blanket so I'm not sure if they had uh, the, the pour from soft blanket into um, campfire treat just kind of blended in together for that first batch but it's ha it happened to not just Doug but a couple other folks out there um, including Anthony from uh, Candle Cafe but um, he also confirmed the other day when um, he was smelling these in store when they finally got them in that they smelled like the old campfire treat. And I, uh, I confirmed that today also. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but this is very oily on the top. So I just had to pick it up. The only thing I'm not really digging is it's a white wax and the, the white wax and the Yankee Candle logo is in white. Where in the past, what they would do on white jars white wax jars is they would make the logo black compared to white so kind of see the see the difference there so uh minor complaint not a deal breaker not a deal breaker still smells amazing um love the label always love that label and this is kind of growing on me i do i do miss the gold um that they put on there for the fall returning favorites so uh but yeah this this is indeed the old Old campfire treats, everyone, um, or uh, fireside treats if you're in the UK. It is indeed the old, old one there. So I have a couple coupons to share with you. Uh, first is Yankee Candle Outlet. This runs until uh, March 4th. If you can uh, get to the outlet, it's 30% off, uh, $50 or more. So candles are five for 50 right now. So take the 30% off of that. So it's $35 for five candles. Uh, that's eight dollars a jar. That's a steal. That's a steal. You can find five jars that you like uh next up is this is gonna be for yeah for the retail store um there's your color me happy um i was not a fan of that scent uh very fruity not very florally at all not a huge fan but it is 40 percent off any regular priced item as you can see they are uh, promoting the easter uh scents there and this runs from march 5th to march 31st so all right, guys. Well, that's my haul. I do have a Easter haul coming up. I picked up a lot of Easter stuff uh, over the past couple of weeks. So I'm going to combine that into one haul. Uh, all I can say is that the Easter products for Yankee Kino this year are rocking. They get a big thumbs up for me. So, 
right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram and my Twitter at Philly Candleman. Links are below. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know uh, what you think. If you if you have tried, um, particularly the Nicole's Home Accents from AC Moore, very curious, or the Michael's Candles, uh, and uh, any feedback on my under five dollar uh, series I'm going to run, um, let me know. I think it's a good idea, bad idea. Let's, let's roll with it. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.